Are you intrigued by the evolution of data exchange on the web, particularly the differences between HTTP and IPFS? This is the video for you. Welcome back to IPFS 101. I'm Lindsay, and today we will be exploring how IPFS could be the successor to HTTP, the current backbone of data exchange on the web. First, let's demystify HTTP. It's the protocol allowing browsers to fetch pages and send data to servers. But in this world, location matters. You request data from a specific server at a specific URL. Enter IPFS, a paradigm shift. Here, you don't ask a specific location for data. Instead, you ask the network and it finds the nearest node with your desired data. This decentralized approach is the key to understanding IPFS's potential. So does IPFS use HTTP? The short answer is no. IPFS is a peer-to-peer -peer protocol, fundamentally different from HTTP. However, to fit into our current web, it does use HTTP in its convenience layers. It's like speaking a foreign language with a familiar accent. One fascinating aspect of IPFS is its delegated content routing. It allows nodes with limited resources to participate in the network by using an HTTP API for routing. It's all about inclusivity and flexibility. But is IPFS more secure? Absolutely. In IPFS, you don't need to know where the content lives. You just need its content identifier, or CID. And luckily for you, we already have a video for that here. But in short, it's like having a digital footprint for each file. Like HTTP, IPFS does not guarantee permanence on its own. That's where pinning comes in. As long as a file is pinned, it remains accessible. Unpin it and it may vanish, just like deleting a file on HTTP. To wrap things up, IPFS represents a new wave of data storage and retrieval. It's not here to replace HTTP overnight, but it does offer a more flexible, secure way to handle web content. But that's all I have for today's deep dive on IPFS. Thank you so much for joining me today. If anything here was enlightening to you, please hit those like and subscribe buttons down below and join our community. Until next time, this is Lindsay. Happy pinning and stay curious. Bye guys.